Now turning to senior White House correspondent Peter Ducey is in Las Vegas. Peter. Good morning. And we have a story about White House stenographers. First time this whole cycle. The White House stenographers come with the House. They are not political. Some of them have been there since Trump and will be there after Biden. And they are now as mad as you will ever hear a stenographer on the record that White House officials working for President Biden tried to change the meaning of their transcript. So it sounded like the president on that Zoom with Voto Latino was just criticizing a comedian instead of all Trump supporters. So now we've got a supervisor from the stenographer's office who is saying, our stenography office transcript released to our distro, which includes the National Archives, is now different than the version edited and released to the public by press office staff. And Amy Sands, the director of that department, continued, Please avoid sharing rush drafts and excerpts, which are subject to review and might create confusion among staff, media, and the public while our stenography office completes a thorough review process. The White House is not explaining what exactly happened here, just to say the president confirmed in his tweet on Tuesday evening that he was addressing the hateful rhetoric from the comedian at Trump's Madison Square Garden rally. That was reflected in the transcript. And they're getting some help keeping MSG top of mind from J-Lo. At Madison Square Garden, he reminded us who he really is and how he really feels. It wasn't just Puerto Ricans that were offended that day, okay? It was every Latino in this country. It was humanity and anyone of decent character. The Harris campaign keeps losing control of news cycles because of this garbage comment and the cleanup and White House staff apparently trying to change the meaning of something that everybody who has watched the clip could hear with their own ears. It is looking like this is becoming a case, a classic DC case of the cover up being worse than the crime. And the crime was pretty politically bad. Back to you. And Peter, just to <coughs> uh, underline, you do think this is as angry as the stenographers have been <laughs> ever I know, so in cute. the White House. Would you back that up? Do you have a second source? <laughs> I, Fox confirms the stenographers, <laughs> you never hear them say anything. They're always just sitting like two feet away from Wait the minute. president with a long microphone and Great. a recorder. And now they're going on the record. Uh, <laughs> and, and also, yeah. The stenographer's office when the apparently has a leak. Right. When the stenographer's now going on the record, who types it? We're picturing yeah, the, gra the grandmother, like, angrier yeah. than she's they're ever been. They're probably just all in a line. <laughs> right, they're probably all in a line. There is a stenographer next to the stenographer with a mic to make sure that they got it right. They'll all check their notes. Uh, but this is a serious issue. It is. And Peter, when it, we've this... all seen over the last couple of years, when it comes to White House staff giving stuff to the National Archives, right. yeah. they want to have everything and it has to be exactly right. The stenographers are there for a reason. It's so the political appointees cannot come in and just try That's to right. change the historical record. And that is what they are very gently, but uh, Directly. publicly you mean. accusing the White House of doing. Peter, this is an exclusive. You well, had to everybody to... heard the clip. Yeah, we did. Uh, you went to Las Vegas to tell us about the, uh, the uh, stenographer whistleblower case. This is really big. Yeah, very typical. It, it's big. It's big. Uh, it's big. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.